Ever feel like every time you turn around, there's a new cybersecurity alert? Like trying to find a needle in a haystack, really. Oh, absolutely. And the problem is only getting worse, right? <laughs> exactly. That's why we're diving into Vectra AI today. They promised to cut through all that noise. It's about time somebody did. And you, this signal to noise problem, it's everywhere, not just in security. Right. Like think about those times you're just overwhelmed by information trying to make a decision. Exactly. But in cybersecurity, that signal, that could be the difference between, well, a quiet day and complete disaster. No kidding. Yeah. So how does Vectra help? What's their secret sauce? Well, they're doing something called hybrid NDR. It's about combining data, getting the full picture. NDR, so that's network detection and response, right? You got it. Instead of just looking at network traffic or our devices, they're looking at both. Uh, connecting the dots. Okay, that makes sense. But don't a lot of tools promise that kind of thing? Sure, they do. But Vectra's all about high fidelity alerts. You see, most security tools, they just throw everything at you. And that gets overwhelming fast. I've heard some horror stories about alert fatigue. Oh, believe me, it's real. We're talking 97% of security analysts worried they'll miss a real attack because they're drowning in false alarms. Wow, 97%. That's, that's a staggering number. It is. And that's where Vectra comes in. They help you focus on the alerts that actually matter, the ones that need your attention. So less chasing ghosts and more actually stopping attacks. We got it. And it's not just about the volume of alerts. It's about visibility, too. Did you know that 71% of security professionals are worried they might already be compromised? Wait, seriously, 71%? Like there's a breach they don't even know about yet. It's a scary thought, isn't it? Like a ticking time bomb. And that's part of what Victra tackles head on. By finding those vulnerabilities before someone else does. Exactly. They cover four out of the five key attack surfaces. Public cloud, SaaS, identities, and networks. So they're looking everywhere, basically. But with all that information coming in, I mean, how do you even make sense of it all? Well, that's where this single pane of glass view comes in. Yeah. Imagine all that data, but it's organized. It's prioritized. You're not flipping between a million screens. OK, I can see how that would be a game changer. But do you have any you know, real world examples of how that's helped teams? Oh, absolutely. One source I was looking at, they said they were able to add like 50 new threat detections after they started using Vectra. Wow, 50. That's significant. Oh, yeah. And get this. They were able to reduce their total alert volume by 90% at the same time. 90%? Okay, now I'm really starting to see the appeal here. But I gotta ask, when I first saw this term attack signal intelligence, I have to admit I thought, am I reading a spy novel? Right. It does sound a little dramatic. It does. So break it down for me. How does Vectra actually do this whole thinking like an attacker thing? Well, it's all about the AI, right? Oh. So Vectra analyzes your system's behavior particularly after a potential compromise. So it's not just looking for a known bad file, it's looking for what, pattern? Exactly, like imagine an attacker gets their hands on a low-level employee account. Okay, so not great, but not the end of the world either. Right, and most systems, they'd flag that initial access, but Vectra's AI, it understands that this might just be the first step. Like a stepping stone to something bigger. You got it. So instead of fixating on that initial low-level alert, they're looking for those high-value targets the attacker's really after. Which would make sense, right? Why waste time on a low-level account when you can go for the CEO's credentials? Exactly. And remember that statistic about 41% of alerts being basically useless. Yeah, the noise we were talking about earlier. Right. Well, Vectra helps cut through that. They focus on the accounts that really matter. They even provide this, like, battle map of the attack. A battle map. Okay, I'm intrigued. Yeah. So you can literally see how an attack might move through your systems. Like, maybe it starts on Microsoft 365, right? Mm -hmm. Then jumps to AWS API calls. So you can see the attacker's playbook, basically? Exactly. It's about understanding their tactics, not just reacting to individual actions. That's amazing. Okay, so we've got cutting-edge detection, comprehensive visibility, but it's all a bit theoretical unless you can act on it, right? Mm. How quickly can Vectra actually respond to a threat? Oh, that's where it gets really interesting. Traditional security, you're often talking weeks, maybe even months, to fully remediate a threat. Vectra, you're talking minutes. Minutes. Seriously. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. It's a three-step process. Detect, triage, prioritize. So first, they're analyzing all that post-compromise activity. They're looking for patterns that match known attack techniques, a lot of which are documented in frameworks like IRE, ATTT, and CK. Ever heard of that? Yeah, I've seen it around. 
So it's not just about flagging a specific line of code. It's like you were saying, it's about understanding the attacker's methodology, their tactics and techniques. Ah, okay. So that's the detect phase. What about triage? So then comes the triage stage. That's where the machine learning comes in, right? It sifts through all that data, filters out the false positives. That's how they achieve that amazing alert reduction we were talking about. So it's like having a super efficient security analyst right there filtering all those alerts for you. That's a great way to put it. And then finally, we have prioritization. This is key because it's not just about knowing something's bad. Right. You need to know what to tackle first. Exactly. So Vectra compares threats against these globally observed profiles. Okay. So they're looking at the bigger picture again, trying to understand. The bigger picture. Exactly. And from that, they can tell you, okay, this is how urgent this threat really is. Which is huge, right? Because then you're not just reacting to whatever pops up first. You can prioritize your team's efforts. Exactly. And hopefully avoid those false positives that can really throw a wrench in the works. For sure. But, you know, we've talked a lot about Vectra specifically, but most companies already have a whole bunch of security tools in place. How does Vectra fit into that? That's another one of their strengths, actually. <laughs> they know security isn't one size fits all, right? Mm. So they've built all these integrations with existing tools, like... EDR solutions, endpoint detection, and response. Right, right. Trying to get that full picture. Exactly. Combining endpoint and network perspectives for that 360-degree view, no more blind spots, ideally. Makes sense. And I think I even saw something about MDR, MXDR services. Oh, yeah, yeah. Managed detection and response. Extended managed detection and response. So, you know, if you need a little help or a lot of help, they've got you covered. That's good to know. And for companies already using Sime, I'm guessing integrating Vectra could save them some money too, right? Oh, absolutely. It's all about working smarter, not harder. Exactly. Making those security dollars stretch further. Couldn't agree more. Well, this has been amazing. We've learned so much about Vectra AI today. Cutting through the noise, that proactive threat hunting, seamless integrations, and all that while being able to respond to threats crazy fast. It really seems like they're changing the game. No doubt about it. It's an exciting time to be in cybersecurity. It really is. Well, on that note, we'll wrap up this deep dive. We covered a ton today, but I'll leave you with this. If you could see the attacks everyone else was missing, what would you do differently? Something to think about as you go about your day. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and stay secure.